so in fact, Boogie is back. Yep, DeMarcus Cousins and the Pelicans play the Kings tonight in Sacramento for the first time since the team traded him over All-Star Weekend. And to say this is a game Boogie's been looking forward to is an understatement. Mm. Remember his line to our Mark Spears from over the summer? Quote, I can't wait. Oh my God, I can't wait. I'm praying it's the first game. I just got a lot to get off my chest. I can't wait. <laughs> this is, of course, after Boogie so memorably called the trade itself, quote, a coward move, then added that he wasn't going to return a text from King's owner Vivek Ranadive because, quote, if he did, I'm pretty sure I would get a coward response. <laughs> and Boogie sat down with Mark again just recently, and while he says he's let go of some of his revenge fantasies for tonight's game, honestly, still doesn't seem to have too much closure. Listen to this. My biggest regret is... Why didn't I leave when I had the chance? When did you have the chance? I had the chance. Yeah, Boogie's referring to the summer of 2015 when then coach George Carl was trying to trade him. You may remember this, Boogie so memorably sending out that snake in the grass emoji tweet. Ah, uh, memories. In that same interview, Boogie also says that the whole Sacramento experience taught him a harsh lesson about the NBA. The end of the day is a business. And, you know, I kind of blame myself for even putting myself at that point. Like, you knew coming in this was a business. How are you going to be loyal to something that ain't loyal to any player that's ever played this game? I was a fool. I was a fool. Wow. Look, here's the deal. For years, one of the go-to parlor games in NBA circles was asking, is the problem Boogie or is it the Kings? And the answer, in truth, was always both. Yes. <laughs> Cousins can be childish and unreasonable. He was quick to disengage if he was unhappy. But also for most of that time, the Kings were a mess in less than seven years that Cousins was there. Sacramento had six head coaches, made a boatload of truly horrible personnel moves, missed the playoffs each season, never won more than 33 games. Now, since the trade to New Orleans, things seem to have calmed down on both sides. Yes, Boogie still gets the occasional tech, but he's worked hard under Alvin Gentry. He and Anthony Davis seem to get along really well. Meanwhile, the Kings have settled in under Dave Yeager. They've been able to acquire some veteran free agent leadership, and they finally had a strong draft. De'Aaron Fox looks like he's going to be a star. So maybe tonight some of that closure Boogie obviously hasn't gotten yet can start. It's going to be emotional because with Boogie, it's always emotional. But hopefully, after so many harsh words over so many years, they can finally be nice, too. So, Paul, who do you think is coming into this game better off now? Is it the Kings or is it Boogie? I think both are better off, but maybe the Kings a little bit more. They finally have a direction. You know, they finally have some young pieces surrounded around some veterans that can say, all right, we're aiming for this. You know, we're not a playoff team this year, but we have something we can build on. Boogie's not going to be better off until he gets that contract extension that he missed out in Sacramento. <laughs> That's when he's going to be better off. You know, they had him for $200 million. Now he's not going to get that. He's over in New Orleans. So we'll see what happens with his contract situation after the season. They're, they're both they're, they're both off. Pick uh, one. I, I can't pick one pick, because pick one. If you, you look at his, you can't. You look at his time when he was there. I mean, it was just, a, it was a cesspool. It was, it, it was very bad. Um, they did him a disservice with the personnel hires to manage his, you know, the, the type of personality that he has. Those coaches couldn't manage this kid. I mean, he, he's a, a dominant figure that likes the voice his opinion, very emotional. Um, and he handled some things wrong. Mm -hmm. Clearly he did. I'm just glad he's off to a fresh start. And hopefully we could see a, a much more mature boogie in New Orleans. Uh, we haven't seen this type of, you know, uh, attitude this year. Uh, he's still young. But I think both of them better off, you know, parting ways. I know you're going to pick one. Pick one. Both. These guys are right. No, but, no uh, it doesn't make sense to say, oh, no, they're better off and he's losing over there or I'm he's not better. I one's losing. But I think they're both better off. Here's the thing. Sacramento. Would was, you rather be Boogie or would you rather be the Kings in this situation? That's both. maybe the better way I'd, to say I'd, it. I'd rather be Boogie. If you make me pick one, I'd rather be the guy with talent and his career ahead of him. Regardless whether he stays in New Orleans or not, mm -hmm. Boogie's going to be fine. Sacramento, they've taken the first steps, like Paul said, in the right direction. Mm -hmm. It's a long journey. This is a team that hasn't made the playoffs since 2006. But they're finally starting to make moves that make sense. Now, you could argue they could have done that with Boogie still there. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why it took him leaving for them to come to that realization. 
But that doesn't mean that they're in a better situation than he is because I think him being along a bona fide star in Anthony Davis, that's good for his career. And what now New Orleans needs to do is not make the same mistakes that Sacramento did. Right. I got my star player, and I'm going to just throw out Band-Aids and mm -hmm. duct tape out there. Right. they got to get a real roster around those two guys. And a lot of Band-Aids because they still have so many injuries. So many I would like to see this roster healthy. They definitely need some more depth. Right. But at least if this roster could be healthy, I think they could do something. Mm -hmm. Until I see that, I don't even know where Boogie really is, whether they're really a chance to be a playoff team.